the Outer Space Security and Development Treaty of 2012. international document that will be signed into law has acknowledged the reality of the cosmos cultures and the indigenous cultures who are in this treaty. People who tell the truth are often a threat. establishes a framework and procedures that will assure that space will be a neutral realm from which all classes of weapons are banned, they're outlawed, and from which no hostile action shall take place towards the Earth or the surrounding cosmos. Can anybody that we're talking to right now disagree with that? I hope not. We have um, military people who have gone public with the fact that they too have sat down with extraterrestrial beings and again none of them are hostile, there is no evidence of hostility. We can ban space-based weapons, invite them in officially, people are working on landing pads in different parts of the world, there's a lot of really great stuff happening. Space-based weapons, and specific ones, are a dumb, dangerous, destabilizing, too costly, unnecessary, untouchable, unworkable idea. The best of the people I've ever met, the most conscious, the most heartfelt, the ones who know that we are a love vibration and we can be living on a garden paradise planet. I just want to cry when I say all this. Is we can have self-sustained communities, a different kind of economic system, a security system that's based on cooperation and sharing of information and connecting and hugging each other. were rocket scientists. They were space cadets. They really just wanted to go into space. They were not really the warriors that some people call them. I come with this assignment that he gave me to prevent the weaponization of space. He said the last cards that they're holding, the last one was the alien card, the ET threat. And then he would say, but it's all a lie. They're not the threat. When Brown was just amazing, he told me what was going on in space, that there would be a choice between space-based weapons or all kinds of things that would be space-based that would allow for future generations to have a future. And in fact, at this point, they don't have much of one unless we do make these changes. That's what this treaty is about. If we could say to ourselves, look, what is it that we can actually do to change the game, to get into a frequency that space age, that the ETs are in, that's based on, dare I say it, love.